today I am gonna read you this book, Locks and Keys. Oh, upside down. Locks and Keys. Uh, we were we were on chapter two, right? Yeah. Just wait for a sec. Chapter two, The Invader Strike. Boston is a big city. It spreads out from the bay like a fan. The denser, the denser population at the up at the apex where a small brick building marks the start of our of our country at night its streets team with team with vehicles old and new big and small coughing out exhaust honking horn despite orinantes forbid dinging it gritting gear screeching tires blasting music covering intimate intimate conversation whisper it between pedestrian lovers or the combative ranks bar at, by com competing uh no! Academics. Oh yeah, Link is playing Pokemon right now. Yes, I got him. Yes, I I did it. She got a Pokemon. He's that's why she's kind of excited. Anyway, <coughs> our neighborhood called Beacon Hill is a world apart. It's cobblestone <coughs> lanes crowded with parking lot cars set aglow by yellow gla gas lamps quiet private and preserved the banana eat punch it, it if you were to spill change from your pocket on the way down the stone steps from our do front door half of the neighborhood would hear it inside the remodeled and refurbished centuries old brownstones and forbidden and walk up walks up Um, and fur refurbish centuries old brownstone and walk ups of librarian would be su well suited and comfortable. Going to sleep with his with his with his window open was a common event for James because father ran an air conditioner an air conditioning too low. The open window was not allowed. Father insists. All summer that the house be buttoned up, buttoned up before bed. James could defeat our, our home security system with a magnet and two wires, as only an, an older brother could. He could, did so each night after father had retired. I often heard his window opening, and I when and when I did, I opened mine. Not because I enjoyed the air, but because I followed James in so much of what he did. The night of the of the attack, city sounds called clearly. Beacon Hill was not only charming, giving its pre its pre preservation of the past. It, it was charmed. Magical things happened here. Costume carlers sang in the streets at Christmas. Little girls with bow in their hair walked with their mother. There were neighborhood Easter egg, egg, Easter egg hunts, and everyone dressed in Irish green on March 17th. James and I had come to know each and, er and every each and every sound like a like the face of a friend. He had both a telescope and binoculars on our disposal on warm summer nights. Where when we couldn't sleep, we would st find each other out on the fire scene, stargaze, or locate a fire truck or a police car respond uh, responsible for a specific siren. We both learned the ge we both learned the geography and the layout of city streets, the Charles River and the Mayor 
highway and bridges. We knew, we knew this town. Our town secretly, we both felt privileged to call it home. Later, I would discover that three invaders had climbed an extension ladder in order to reach the fire escape. They entered through James' door. Well, yeah. so they entered through James' open window, I mean. Luckily, that James was a heavy sleeper. The sound that awoke James, my brother, telescope and tripod going to a horror in a cacophony of broken lenses also shook me from the sleep. One moment I was lying down, the next sitting up and throwing my feet off the bed. When I run to ran towards his room, James coughed awake. A gloved hand slapped over his mouth as he did. Someone held his legs while the one gagging him pinned his right hand arm with a knee on his left with a hand. James buckled, bucked, bucked like a wild horse and struggled to be free. He screamed, making a little more noise than, than that of a a Morris alley cat. He forced himself up to sitting, only making things more difficult. The one miffling him switch position, constraining him from behind, binding both his arms. The guy at Jane's feet all three wore balaclava ski mask. James uh, ski mask. Pulled down over their faces, wrapped a length of rope around James' ankles, the impelection of which drew James into a fit kidnapping. A three a third ninja watching the door turned to assist his partners. The three against one was one was unfair. No kind of sport whatsoever. James was quickly subdued. Don't call me girly just because I scream loudly enough to to light a few dark windows on the, our street. I don't. I'd run down the hall and had slipped through James' door without notice. Sure, exactly what was going on, but it wasn't like Jane wasn't to James' like. After my screen, I turned on the overhead light. After turning on the overhead light, I threw a trophy. It was a it was a purse place science fair trophy, an antique microscope, black metal and brass, mounted on a wooden pedestal with a small brass pedicure, engraved, engraved with my brother's full name, James Kenny Kenneth Monarty. Monarty. Moray. I don't know how you say it really. The trophy weighed several pounds and was big enough that I. Drew it, draw it very well. Thankfully, the three intruders screen screened James so that if I hit anyone, it wouldn't be my brother. I did hit someone, but good. I heard a gruff. Actually, it was the word. It actually it was a word I can't write. Here, the three turned towards me. Oops! I thought I could claim it was my plan to lead them away from my. Bound up rather, but it wasn't a the cunning that cunning at the point in my life. The reaction resulted from my own. I ran. If I screamed, could break glass. Then every chair there, candy layer in our home, and there are many would have rained down like hail. Our men. Advantage, Mora. Thanks to my brother's endless chasing of me, I knew how to navigate this house at high speed. No matter how many times it had been strictly forbidden, I pl I plant my feet. I uh, plant my bare feet, my night groan flapping, and slide sides side 
slipped into and the uh, and threw a turn to the main staircase. I mount the banister, slipping, sliding, sliding. I mean, down backward at the speed Newton would have had to calculate, and dismount exactly at the moment necessary, necessary to prevent my bottom colliding with the newel. I quite gymnastic when wearing a leotard became embarrassing just before my eleventh birthday, but retained enough of my training to swivel, fly through the air, and plant a landing like Gabby Douglas. My pursuers. Took several stairs per stride, and then jumped, landing with such a thunder that I died, thinking something had exploded behind me. I clambered to my feet. The street stood dead center in the in the foyer. Stop! Shouted Father from the second floor railing. Father, it's James! I shouted. They hurt James. The foyer were all gray light and shadowy black shapes. My head was spinning. I might have hit against the floor while driving. Diving. Out! Father roared, standing there in his brown satin robe and leather and leather slippers. He non nonetheless demonstrated. Dem dem Demonstrated his command over others. Among Father's many gifts were his uncanny authority and resolute confidence. He, his drawn face and striking impenetrable eyes, possessed him a bearing that would that few found the strength to challenge. Confession: He didn't know if it was fear. A father that causes that caused them to run. If it certainly wasn't fear of me, one of them slipped either from the long jump from the staircase or my expert throwing ability. But I was struck by something different as the balaclava highlighted the pale flesh contained within the kneaded amond amond. A mound, I don't know, shaped hold. I couldn't see the eyes exactly, but I could make out the direction in which they were looking. It was every direction at once. I felt oddly at sea with them. They were lost or reluctantly to leave. Reluctant to leave. Why、well, has it had a state? Had it had a state like that? I wondered. Then, then finally, fled into the vestibule and out our front door, forced to unlock its three lock with locks, which brought me time to snag an umbrella from the from the from the ch chinus chinus poured cell and umbrella vase. I cracked it down on the soldier of the last ninja out of the door. It it sounded like courage. It wasn't. It was rage. I was boiling hot and prepared to tear the eyes out of one out of any of any one of them for attacking my brother. I raised the umbrella against again, ready to deliver a second blow. But the attackers were long gone. Father caught it from behind. It's over," he said, trying to calm me. "James," I countered. "They got James." Father took、uh, uh, took off upstairs, with the agility of me, or one of my friends. I never seen him move like that. I had no idea he was capable of such speed. He fled across the upstairs hall, slammed the soldier. So a soldier, as he turned into Jane's room, I was but seconds behind him. Though it felt like I was in another part of the city, 
was I was so far behind. My efforts to climb the stairs cloaked any sound I might have heard. The silence from within that room could only mean horrible things, things I do I didn't want to think about. I skidded to a stop before arriving at the room, at the room's door, unwilling to take a look inside. When I heard my father say, "Thank God," while he was untying James. I slid down the wall, but sl- slumped into a crouch, and felt my felt my shoulders shaking and my cheeks wet. I found relief a funny thing, a strange cousin to grief. It dressed the same sound as、uh, dressed it the same, sounded the same, and yet the two were about as far from each other as the North and South Pole. Maria, Maria, James asked. His first word spoken. Is she okay? His Maria James asked. His first word spoken. Is she okay? Then the blubbered, blubbered. Chapter three, the great unspoken. Okay, so uh, I fin. So this is the end. Probably the end of this video. Pretty short, I could say. And um, I'll the next uh video. I'm gonna read you. The chapter three of this book. So we know about. So we know about Maria, Mar, Maria. I don't know how you say.、It. Okay.、Um, we know about somebody tied James, and we know about their father, which apparently had the ability to run such speed. So yeah, there was three. So we. So they also have put blocks and stuff. So that's what we know in this book. So we'll read chapter three in the next video. Goodbye and stay tuned to my videos. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and put notification bell to see more of my videos. Bye.